Hello, today, this evening, we have, I will try to say your name. Yeah. I'm not very good. Kiral, Kiral Raslikov. Yes, that's it. Well, Kiral Raslikov, <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. And I'm delighted nice to, to, meet to meet you and to uh, present you here in this, in this interview. Um, I would like to ask you, what is your involvement in this uh, festival and how, how it all came about? And so I was invited to the second festival as artistic director. Uh, and I tried to help the festival as well as I could. Uh, in many ways, I found a good programming director, a uh, good programmer. Uh, I contacted the people involved in the film business in Britain and in Moscow, and I invented, uh, let's say, the legend about the festival, which links together three cultures, the British one, the Russian one, and the Caucasus one. Uh, the Republic of Kabardino Balkaria. So it makes it a very complicated and complex thing, but it seems to work mm -hmm. uh, even if there are problems. So that's my first time with this festival in uh, Britain. I have been to London many times for selecting British films, etc. But that's the first time I come with this festival. And I'm astonished that it works. Yes. That means that uh, even if the political situation is horrible, uh, but I might even write an article about it. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, good a horrible, idea. <laughs> a horrible political situation and the feast of film, art, yeah. creative people who come together, who discuss, who have ideas. <coughs> that means that life, life goes on. Yes, the politi absolutely. Uh, the politicians can do whatever they want, yeah. <coughs> but the contacts between filmmakers still are still there. Uh, so, <coughs> and what I want is to to make the festival better. Yeah, there will be the regular issue in December this year. We have some time to prepare it properly, because last year I came a little bit late. Uh, and uh, to help uh, the festival become a real international event. And what's interesting for me is that it's done by two countries that are in a way uh, outside of the European Union. They have yeah. conflicts with the European Union. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is Brexit, Brexit <coughs> on the one hand mm -hmm. and all these sanctions against us are on the other. Yeah. And and on the other hand, they both are empires in a way. So we'll do probably ne the next festival special sections about the countries that have been part of the British Empire and the countries that have been part of the Soviet Empire. Mm, right. And okay. uh, to show different kinds of cultures, <coughs> different kinds of problems, even if they are conflictual problems. Uh, even they have been wars, wars of independence, wars different kinds and it makes the situation very interesting and many films are made about it. So I think that uh, the festival will develop and on the other hand the Kabardino Balkan Republic which is represented by Luma Balagova and uh, this tradition of the Caucasus uh, becomes a very important film center because the great Russian director Alexander Sukhorov uh, created a faculty, film faculty there, yeah. and his pupils are already uh, invited to the Cannes Festival, get international awards, and this region becomes very important for mm. for the film industry in Russia, uh, because the regional uh, schools are, are the most developed and the most uh, energetic, let's say, because the Moscow and Saint Petersburg are. Yeah. The long history. So the new centers, uh, you have to to follow them and to try to present them to the public. So I have several things ah. that I can want to achieve with Luba and uh, the group and the people who have been there from the beginning. Yes. And how did you meet the wonderful Luba? Luba was my student. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I taught her the film history. 
Wow. So she uh, this is it where I worked. I was the director of the institute. She started to work on a uh, thesis on a uh, postgraduate paper and then he she left and she traveled and but she didn't forget that I was a professor. So when she came to see me, she said, I'm your pupil, I <laughs> <can help." laughs> That's fantastic. So you're going back a long way, right? Yeah. 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 So have you got what have you got many future projects for do you know what you're going to be doing next year yet? Uh, I have some festival projects. I have a television program which goes on for fifteen years at the wow. cultural channel in Moscow. Uh, I have some ideas of new projects and on the other hand my daughter is a film producer mm -hmm. so I help her wow. producing films and trying to enter the film business in yeah. a way. So I have a lot of things to do. Yeah, so <laughs> keeping it in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So how did you feel when you found out she was going to be doing all that, when your daughter was going to be involved in but the she same? She issue? started in the Film Institute, just film producer. Oh, wow. So great. I knew that she was prepared to do it. Yeah. My other daughters made a different career. My elder daughter, she teaches American history to Canadian students. <laughs> That's a big so contrast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, She's a historian like myself, right? Because I sat, studied art history, oh, okay. my basic study. And uh, my other daughter has been working as a journalist, but now she's working as a psychologist because her main education is psychology. Wow. It helps in journalism, it helps in film, it helps in a lot of things. So you can get the help when you need yeah, it? Yeah. And like pull them on, yeah. get them on board. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I have to say, Keral Razlikov, I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce it properly. Mm. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you. And I'm delighted to hear of your history and mm -hmm. how you are here and how you met Luba. Um, and if there's anything else you want to tell me before we wrap up <laughs> this interview? <laughs> so I think that we will go on working together and see how it happens. Yes. We'll see you in one year here or in half a year in Russia. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. Oh, thank you so much. It was a, just a pleasure to meet you. Really, really was an absolute honour. Thank you so much for this interview thank and your you. time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.